Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis on server 68. So today we get the new event. Uh, I got a couple packs. I really want the lucky coins. Only reason I'm buying them. But uh, anyways, let's talk about the Taisha's wheel that is back. And in my opinion, more difficult than ever. So let's look at it. As you can see, I have done 578 spins. All I really want is the chest piece. It's all I need. Uh, if we look at the plantagenet gear, many people are in the same situation as me. If I get that, it'll rally capacity 20%. Also could put four pieces on my archer general because then I get more rally capacity. And this is good for range attack. So are the pants. So I could put both of those on my uh, Archer General. Uh, there's other, other uh, possible uh, uh, combinations, which would basically be the Freedom Pants and Boots. But I only have one of those. Not sure if I'm ever going to get the second for a long time till these fragments are available in Boss Drops because Ebony is making this stuff hard. Look at this. I have four armors in 500 and what was that 78 rolls and 36 helmets that's ridiculous it's like they know which one i need and they're making it very difficult uh let's talk about some other things going on in the event so uh there are different cakes per server now which is ridiculous i guess the big question is how much does it cost to get to the final cake on other servers? So take a look at this one. This is mine. I'm on continent one, server 68. We go up to cake level six. At cake level three, we get the helmet. Now check this out. So this is server 805, 805. They have 10 cake levels. <laughs> what is up with that? So let's just compare these cake levels. So uh, I guess we can't really compare level one or level two because it's a little bit cut off, but the 300 is the same. So let's look at cake two. Cake three for me, I get 350 speeds, 15, 35 rune stones, and I get this helmet what do they get at cake three looks like they get way more speeds they get 600 and then kind of the same of everything else but no helmet and then at the next helmet level at level four so they're getting a lot more stuff there level five looks like they are still getting at a lower level than what our level four is. They're getting 50 rune stones there and we're getting 100. So if we look at this next level, so their 100 doesn't come till cake level eight, 100 rune stones I'm talking about, but they get more speed ups. They get the orange speed ups. I assume those are the 12 days. And then their final level, let's compare those. So we both are going to get the Edinburgh Castle, the Fragments, the Epic Chest, they are going to get less Rune Stones, less Refined Stones. So it's hard to really compare this without uh, knowing what the price is to get to the final level, but their first level is level 10, or sorry, 2,500. Sorry, 5,000. And yes, 5,000 gems to get to level one. So was mine. I've passed level one, and now I'm at 25,000. I can only assume that their next one is going to be 25,000 too. But uh, if you're on one of these servers, 800 plus, and you have the level 10 cake, let me know how much it costs to complete it when you do. Uh, I'm very curious about that. Also, in the 99 packs now, Ebony has started to release the new Monarch gear. So if you click on here, you can see this marching stuff. And apparently about level 
So if we look, this is level eight and it's 71%, 83,000 power. So let's uh, see if I have any level eights to compare. So I guess I gotta go to Archer to look over level eight. So level 10 is 71% and this is 71% level eight. So level eight basically equals level 10 normal uh, gear. But level eight was pretty difficult to get to in my opinion. Like seven was kind of like, all right, I got here. It was pretty easy. Eight was a big jump. Nine and 10 were humongous jumps. So it, for the average person, because these are only available in 99 packs right now, this is going to take a long time to get to. And check this out. I've actually, I prepared for this and I started to save it up in my inventory. I just wanted to see, would, would uh, these transfer over and would you end up getting the new gear? And they are not in the details as of now. Let's look in the staff here. And yeah, they're not here. This is just regular gear. Let's see over here if I got anything. And no, it's all just regular. So not, I tried to game the system and I was planning ahead hoping that would work. But uh, as of now, it looks like the only path to getting that new gear is buy the 99 pack. So you could just imagine the advantage the really big coiners are going to start to get when they start to get that level 10, 11, 12 Monarch gear of the new marching stuff. Uh, I guess 21, 2200 is not going to be the norm anymore for attack percentages. We're going to be looking up higher now, like 2400 or higher, even higher in Battlefield. So... Yeah, so, you know, one thing I always think about when uh, thinking about all these new buffs, the game's the same as it always was. It's just leveled higher now. So if 1400 used to be the best buff, well, now it's 2200, 2300. And the average player has, you know, my buff is, I think it's been about 13, 18 hitting people on server recently. That's in rallies without my subs. And in Battlefield, it's a bit higher. So I'm like, what used to be a good player? <laughs> and that's your average player now. That Well, I guess above average, but I'm nowhere near being what I would consider good. But uh, anyways, this is Genghis, Server 68. Let me know in the comments if you got the level 10 cake, how much it costs to complete it. And uh, anything else you saw in this update. And uh, hopefully some of you are having better luck with uh, the plantagenet armor on the taisha's wheel because i certainly am not so hopefully one of you guys can make up for that genghis server 68 like subscribe leave a comment